guys, welcome to Luna's Life. Today I'm going to do a quick upload on how I hand tame my gerbils. Now I use treats like this, which are just plain Rice Krispies. I use quite a few of them while I'm training to entice the gerbils onto my hand. And this is how I do it. So I put my hand into the enclosure with one Rice Krispie on my hand and I wait and I talk and I encourage but I don't chase I just leave my hand in the bottom of their enclosure let them have a sniff when they see a treat that they particularly want they will then take that treat off my hand and this is the beginning of hand taming now I don't rush this process I wait with my hand very still until the gerbil is finished in this case it's alpha and he's looking for more. He's actually come onto my hand. He's investigating my hand. He's thinking, where are the other treats? Now he can smell them because I'm hovering above him with my other hand. So what I do is I place a few more in my hand and I leave my hand down on the floor. And I do this so that he knows I'm not gonna grab him and there are treats available if he comes onto my hand. Now the others are interested because Alpha's done his job. His name is Alpha for a reason. The others will come out and start sniffing around and they will do the same. They will take the treat off my hand. Now Oscar is the shyest of the bunch, although he may get a little bit more kinder today because I've got lots of treats with me. And the more I do this, the less frightened he's gonna be of me. And this is hand taming, guys. This is where it starts. So before you even think about getting them out of the enclosure, this is how you introduce them to being okay with you with your hand in their enclosure and with them coming onto your hand. So before you think about lifting them, this is good. So Oscar's on my hand now, which is a lovely thing. He doesn't really enjoy being held. So that's nice. I like the, the fact that he's sitting and he's digging. Can you see that? He's digging and he's tasting my hand because that's where the food was. And he's saying, where's the rest of it? So I'll wait for him to get off before I put more treats in my hand. Because he needs to know that my hand isn't a treat. It's just that the treats are on my hand. Come on, off you get. If you get off, I can get some more. Right, okay, lovely. I'll put some more treats in my hand and I put my hand down. And then they will all gradually gravitate to my hand, know that my hand means food, means good food, good treats. So every time I put my hand in the cage, they're not going to be shy and run away. They're going to actually gravitate to me. They're going to want to come to me because my hand means food, means treats. And this is how you start the bonding. This is how you first start your hand taming, guys. Look at that. And then gradually I will move to lifting the treats up above my hand so that they have to reach for them, but they have to come onto my hand first. But this is the very first stage. So the next stage is to try lifting my hand. So I have put a handful of treats in my hand and I'm gonna hold it on the floor. Come on then. Which one of you is gonna come out and try this for me? Don't be shy. Camera's rolling, guys. Okay, so Echo's gonna come onto my hand and have a treat. And when he's completely on my hand, I'm gonna try just lifting it just a little bit. Okay, so that he knows it's not stable, but it is being lifted. I'm not gonna lift it right out of the enclosure, but I will lift it slightly. Come on. What's this? What have I got? Have I got treats for you? Are you going to come and show everybody just how confident you are? Come on then, Echo. Can you come in on my hand? Come on then. Hi. There we go. And then I'm going to lift it. Now, did you see him jump off? He's not entirely sure about this whole lifted scenario. But where I've lifted it to, I'm not going to place it back down on the floor. I'm going to leave it there. So he now has to come up to get this treat. Yes, he does. And then I place it back down. 
and I repeat this over and over again. So if he jumps off, I leave my hand where it was before I come back down and make sure he reaches up first because he has to be the one to come to me, not me chasing him. This is what builds up the trust between him and I and this is what makes hand taming work and for it to be successful. He needs to know that he can come to me and he's going to be safe. So he wasn't okay with me lifting. So I waited for him to take the treat again and then I put my hand down on the floor to start the process all over again. So he has to come onto my hand. Are you going to come on my hand? And I'm lifting. He's not on my hand, but I'm lifting it just to see what he'll do. He's still reaching for it. So he's still touching my hand, but my hand is moving. And I start moving it in front of him. Yeah. Just start moving very slowly, not fast movements. Just very slowly so that he knows that that movement does not mean no treats. And it is not something to be afraid of. And now see, look, I've got him in my hand. I've lifted him up and I'm placing him back down again. The second time I did that, he wasn't as scared because he knew he was safe. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please put your comments below and please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to see my videos as and when I upload them. And if you want any more hints and tips, maybe some things that I've not put on here, then please leave a comment requesting any further uploads that you would like to see. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.